everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Deck Challenge in The Sims 4 where we are today going to play a little bit longer. I will probably do an hour now and then an hour later uh, because I don't have two hours right now because it's very late so this video will be long but I probably have to sit sometimes. Um, multiple sits is what I need to do. But anyway, welcome back to this family. I don't remember that much about this family, more than that uh, we are on the second tree of Greyjoy because my Greyjoy family is dead. So that's like everything I know and that Kate died. So they can't get any more babies, it's just these four now. It's three boys and one girl, so that's good. What? Why? I'm taking care of you. Oh, you're not happy clean that and you're getting clean soon don't cry yet I still <laughs> have time to take care of you okay you need to take a bath like now uh, okay but yeah welcome back to this chaos episode even if it's only been two minutes free uh, but today it's su Saturday and uh, nothing much is happening today but tomorrow, Hector is going to uh, have his birthday, so we will see if Yasmin is going to live there or maybe to an orphanage. Who knows? So, that will be fun. Oh, poor you. Time to clean again. Time to take care of all the babies that are not mine. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Penny. But Kate, Kate is not alive anymore, so I, I can't do that much about it. Oh, we're so done. Oh, right. Which year are we on right now? 3222. And we will see how long um, I will play. If I, I am thinking about playing like maybe two years. We will see how long it will be. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to edit everything so that the funniest things happen so that's that oh no they're going to take away our animals now no way well i i need to take care of the kids they need to eat all of them there we go go and eat honey oh no he's killing off all the chickens i think Oh no, I need to buy new chickens. Probably. Oh no! No! Bye! Goodbye! Oh! So sad. It is a new day. It's very early in the morning though, but it's still a new day. And uh, Hugo does not feel very good. And you don't feel very good either. Why don't... No, just don't be with the baby. Put him back in the crib. How long does this have? Uh, it doesn't have a, a time. Great. Eat that. And you, my beautiful, beautiful little girl, come and eat. Why is Barney here? Hi, Barney. Okay. Well... I guess he can be here too. Uh, they're going to leave again. Well, we have heard that many times. Was it good? I think it was. Great. So today is Hector's birthday. We all know that. Um, so I will actually go to him right now and see. Wait, something has happened to my... Oh my god, I'm so sorry guys. What the hell happened here? I'm so sorry. Did that just happen? Or has it been like that for like a long time? Oh, I need to check my steampunk videos if that is... Okay, well, I know that now. That was so weird. I need to check that later. But anyway, we are going right now to Hector and see if he's going to survive. Because if he isn't, Jasmine is going to move out. Alright, so here we have Hector, and now we are going to see 
what type of number oh my god <sighs> really what numbers can't he have he can't have 2 6 11 13 and 14 and what will it be it will be 8 well hector is totally fine to age up into a young adult is that what he's going to be yeah a young adult all right great so we just have to age you up and then we can go and do whatever we want so jasmine is going to still be with the, her dad uh oh god what are we gonna do with you uh i don't know why can't i have a random one here too like why i'm not going to be here so i can just give him what the hell he wants there you're welcome what's that who are you spice well okay bye i don't know what happened here but we have a child on the floor summer is very hungry penny do we have anything to do do we get eat? no no never never ever ever can we have anything other than it's disgusting rule can you go out and try and get something and you too the thing about john is that he is so pointless like he can't do anything with this because he just doesn't like to do this so he's really worthless and he can't take care of the animals because apparently the animals doesn't like him so i don't know why he is here like yugo is perfect he is so freaking perfect. The kids love love him so much. But John... John will never... Never have a good relationship with anyone, I think. I don't even think that he and his wife's relationship was very good. Are you and Penny's relationship good? Open profile. It's difficult. Yeah, I can understand that because... Uh, well, she is uh, an evil person, but... John is, John is not the one, you know, I, I don't like him. I would not be together with him if I was in this uh, year. I have actually wanted to do like um, um, a video where I tell you about how I feel like the different sims are, but it, it would just take so long to do that. But if I just guess on on these people. Yugo is definitely the one that everyone wants to be with. He is a great, a great dad. A great grandpa. And he, he can just fix everything. He likes to be with the kids. He likes to take care of them. Bathe them. He likes to cook. Even if that is not the most popular thing for a man to do back in the days but he he just likes to help with everything he likes to take care of the animals he he's just perfect and then we have john and john is the opposite of yugo john is so selfish and he he like think he can do anything but as soon as he tries it just goes wrong. He he's just a bad person, okay? He doesn't even try. He's just a bad person. I don't think the kids like him that much. No, they don't. Amelia is like the only one that actually liked him a lot. Well, that's interesting. Uh, and then Penny, she is very de depressed. I would probably say, like she has always, as I mean. When she was a, a child, her mother left her and then died. And she has just been going through death so many times. Like, you know, with Arthur, he had a really, really big problem with people dying. Because he didn't want to end up alone. And he ended up alone in the end. So, he had a very difficult time. And I feel like Penny has the same, like... She's always very sad and depressed and she's trying so hard to take care of everyone. But it just it just doesn't work. So yeah, that's probably how I see her. And uh, then we have the kids. And I 
I don't really... Why don't you want to give him a bath? Like, come on. There we go. Um, but like, Summer... She feels a lot like her mother. Like, she's so little right now, so I can't really tell how she she is. But she feels like a, a very nice, generous person. She is angelic, so I can understand that. He's, she's also a heavy sleeper. Well, that's cool. But she just feels like she... She can just talk to anyone. They all like her. She's perfect. <laughs> And Martin is the younger brother uh, of Conrad, so he will always have that on him. But C Martin, he just, he feels like a horse person. I, I can't tell you why I feel like that. But he just feels like a, a horse person. The only thing is that he hates wake up time. He rarely wakes up in a good mood. Well, that's cool. He's a little singer too. <gasps> He's going to learn uh, instruments and stuff. I love that. Well, that is something I really want to see. Um, but yeah, I feel like Martin is like the horseman. And then Conrad. What is he? He's slow to warm up temperament. Well, I guess he's a little hard to get along with. Um, he is... You know... All, like all firstborns it needs to be perf perfection everywhere so th that's probably how I see these sims I can't tell you how I feel about the other sims because I never see them but that's probably how I see these people but anyway it's Sunday I don't have anything more to do today so I will probably skip until tomorrow but tomorrow is nothing interesting either so I will play, I want this video to, to be uh, interesting, so today and tomorrow nothing special will happen, but the day after we have some uh, sims that are going to age up. So I'm going to skip until uh, Tuesday, and by that time it's going to be 1323, and if something happens, then I will be here. So um, that sounds good. Let's go with that. So after some days playing and I have a new outfit now, we are finally going to age up Chain and he's going to be a toddler today. So if I just look here, it's Tuesday, 1323 are we on now? I don't really remember what I said in the last clip that I did, but it's Shane, Kellen and Ava's birthday today. Kellen is, uh, let's see, Kellen is George and Jane's child, and then Ava is Ralph and Mia's child. So, let's see now if Shane is going to make it, and he cannot have 4, 8, and 12, then he's going to die. So, oh god, sorry, what is it going to be? It's going to be a 2, and that is very, very, very fine for me. So, he is going to eat up today and be a little cute toddler. Oh, I'm so excited to actually age up him, because, I don't know, but infants is very uh, difficult to work with. So, we're going to give him, don't think about this, we're going to give him the last food. Oh no, the goats again. And uh, we're going to give him the last bottle and then he is going to age up. And there we go. Now he is a toddler. So we are going to look at him and see how he looks. Here we have Chain, And he actually looks really cute. He's very much like his mother. Just like Summer is. I think Martin and Conrad are more like John, but I'm not sure. But you look amazing. You look so cute. All right. So now we can sell this little uh, crib. Or maybe we have it here. Yes, yeah, so we can. If somebody else gets any babies. Now the problem is that I don't have much space for another bed. Oh, Mia's going to labor. Well, then we're going to go to her 
let's skip these people. I want to see the new baby. And also age up a baby. Hi, Mia. Is it time for a baby? I don't know why she doesn't have the stomach for it. Oh, what's going on here? Ugh. Uh, I hope you're okay. <laughs> well, hi, Ava. Where is the... Oh, you don't have any? Well, I can fix that. Let's see here. There we go. I just need a little bassinet for them. Let's go with the same one I always take. There we go. Okay, Mia, time for your little baby. And then we're going to age up your daughter, hopefully. I'm a little scared. Maybe, maybe the baby's not going to make it. It's a baby girl! Ooh. Uh, I don't have my list again. I will need to charge my iPad. Marilyn. That's actually a very cute name. But mm, Regina. Regina Ambers. Yes. Let's go with the Regina. Aww, cute! Alright, so now it's very interesting if Mia and her baby is going to make it or not. So, I don't know why I say this every time, but it's we are going to start with the mother, as always. So, what number she's going to get? 17. Well, we all know that that's fine if you have watched my videos, my previous videos. Because the only number she needs is a 1. Or don't want, I guess. What about the baby? Please tell me that the baby is going to be fine. The baby is actually going to be fine. <sighs> Mia has had some problems with her babies because they haven't survived. If I can say so. Um, so we are all very happy that her babies um, is fine. <laughs> so that, that's very good. But we also have to roll for another person, and that is Ava, and she's also going to be a toddler, so 4, 8, and 12 are the numbers. So let's see, please. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> yes. Oh. I don't like when the kids doesn't make it. It's so sad. Alright, so it's time for little Ava. Can you not do that while I'm trying to age up your baby? And here we have little Ava. I feel like she actually looks pretty good. She's a little angry looking and she looks a lot like a girl I know. But she looks amazing. I like her a lot. I was also thinking since we went to Mia, I guess we can go here too. And I just saw that she is getting birth any time now. And also, Daisy and Ava look uh, very much alike. Which is totally fine, I guess. It was just a little funny. But Kellen is the one we are going to roll for now. So let's get the dice again and see which number he gets. 10. Well, nothing to to uh, talk about he is very fine so everything is great with him all right here we have kellen he looks very good too i guess i know everyone like has the same outfits and stuff but i'm not going to be in this family that much if the gray doesn't die um but yeah you look good i can't say anything about that Alright, so tomorrow it's going to be a very interesting day because tomorrow George and Jane are going to age up into young adults. And if they don't make it, that's not good. Then we have so many kids that need to move. Probably to Ralph and uh, Mia. So we will see how that ends. Well, where are everybody? You go, where have you been? How is it going with the animals? Oh, the cow is real dirty. And the llama. And what about these guys that we never take care of? Or... I, I take care of them, but they they never want to uh, be happy, I think. 
So, it's a new day. It's Tuesday today, and I thought that uh, we could roll for George and Jane, because it's time. Will they survive or not? I don't know. Uh, but the numbers they can't have is 2, 6, 11, 13, and 14. So it's a lot of numbers. It's the most numbers um, on my list here. <sighs> but it's also the most uncommon ones. So I don't know. But okay. George, will you survive or not? George will survive. So the kids doesn't have to move out yet. But what about Jane? Jane is going to survive okay she had a baby uh, or she uh, she has a baby right now uh, it's not born yet but she's going to have a baby so I was very scared that they were not going to get that little cute baby but it's coming so that's a good thing so I think the baby's like coming today sometimes so I will be back to you guys but now we're going to Regina and um, Ralph and Mia and see if uh, she's going to to age up into an infant or if she's going to die. We have a little baby girl and Regina it's time for you to age up. But will you age up? Well, you will. Oh my god, I have such a good day today. <laughs> I often don't, but this time I do, so love it. Okay, so like I said before, I'm not really going to be in this family, so Regina doesn't have any special clothes, but she looks cute. I really like her. She's going to be a cute baby in the future, hopefully, but she, she looks so cute right now. Okay, so I have been playing for a real long time now, but I have a wish to play at least until Conrad is aging up and that is uh, 1324 which is three days uh, because nothing is happening tomorrow and on Friday Conrad is going to age up so I'm going to play until then so it will be a little hippity hoppity I'm going to skip a little bit I'm going to jump in and just say something and Jane is going to get her baby so I hope that's fine by you because now nothing much is going to happen so it'll be fine oh uh Hugo needs needs find some warm clothing before he becomes too cool for life Hugo Hugo you should you should go inside I am going to let him go inside by himself. He is big enough to handle that. You go. You. You go. I. I. I told you to go inside. You go. I told you. To go inside. And now you're dying. <sighs> you go. No. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? You don't even know that guy. You don't even know who that is. I was just thinking that the Sims could take care of themselves for once and actually go inside if they was cold. But I didn't think that he was actually going to die from it. I mean, this is just like the fire that we had in the house. The Sims see the fire, they do absolutely nothing, and Conrad was about to die because of that. John, your father is dying? He's dead? Oh, you think about that you smell bad. What are you doing? Your dad is dead. Your father. Oh, now? Now you realize that he is actually dead? You didn't think that you could, like, think of that a little bit earlier? No, no, no. Oh, my God. Why are you not crying? Why is he not crying? He's just witnessing. You're, you just see your... You have just seen your dad. Getting killed by the... the weather 
And you don't cry about it? Uh, thank you. What is wrong with you? What I What is wrong with you, John? Why are you not crying? Well, that was a sad moment. I... Wh where's the goat? Oh, right. Arthur came over. I didn't film that, but Arthur came over and took all the goats. I don't know what happened, but the goats just disappeared. So, I would probably buy a horse again. Because I like horses more than I like goats. Or, I like them both, but... You know what I mean. Okay, but uh, John can't cry when he his father dies. So, that's very mean of you john you are not a real man to me you you are a coward do i know you do you want to marry penny is that why you're here what is wrong with you can you go away go away you're old also go away jane got a little baby boy and what's what is the baby's uh, name going to be i don't know finn yes finn is the name finn ambers it's a new little baby! Yay! A li okay. Well, a little baby! <laughs> okay. Will both of them survive now? Please tell me they will. Because I don't, I don't want to go through more death. She is fine. What about the baby? The baby is fine. Great. I'm so happy. Another son for... The Ambers family, which is amazing for them. Congratulations. There we go. So this means that we actually have a little birthday tomorrow, which is Finn. Finn's birthday. Congratulations, Jane. You have good genes now because you have three sons now. Dean, Kellen, and Finn. And then a little baby girl, Daisy. Who, she's, she's so freaking cute. Well, <laughs> I have to get back to my family. I just remembered that Penny is going to marry off to someone soon. So John is going to be by himself with these kids. I don't know what to think about that. Because John can't handle anyone. So I don't know how he's going to, to do that. John, you can't take care you you can't take care of kids. Maybe the kids have to have to go to an orphanage or something. Because you are not able to take care of anyone. Okay, so it's a new day. And I just thought that uh, this video is going to be very, very long. And I don't want to edit this too much. So uh, that's why we're going to go through Finn's birthday. And then uh, 1323 is actually uh, done. So in the next episode, we are starting in 1324. And we're going to go through Conrad, Regina, uh, Conrad and Regina's birthday. Penny is going to move out and she's going to marry off to someone. And maybe we can start on 325. I am not sure yet, but we will see. But anyway, it's time for Finn's birthday. He's going to be an infant now. And I just wanted to check if he is going to survive or not. So I'm just going to do it. He gets a 5. And that means that he is fine. And he can age up. I really have to change my words. Okay, so Finn actually has brown hair just like Dean. Has What, what are you wearing, boy? Alright, I haven't changed anything about them, but... Finn is a brown hair baby. <coughs> it looks a lot like um, Jane, actually. But that's Finn. So I will actually end this episode right here. Um, I hope you liked this video. It, I feel like it was a good thing to have a little bit longer video this time. Um, it's going to be a longer video tomorrow too. Um, and uh, we hopefully I can play through 1325 so we're going to be on 1326 and uh, the, the new events that are coming later in this game um, it starts in 1337 I think it's the 100 year wait the 100 war 
like this video subscribe to my channel to see when new decade challenge videos come out also i play a lot of other games so check that out too and um well i will see you guys in the next video goodbye take care of each other bye i totally forgot to show you the family tree so only here you have uh, the great joy family uh, where now Hugo has died from hypothermia, which is when you die from cold because your heart like stops. It's really scary to read about. But this is the Grey family, and then we have the very big Amber's family. I think you can see all of it now. Um, so we have Mia, who has a lot of kids, and then. Um, Jane or Mia has a lot of dead kids and Jane has a lot of alive kids it's just Dennis and Abby that didn't make it so uh, yeah that's that's them thank you so much for watching goodbye